students this is the practical number two that we have to perform it is designing a login form using dev tags so let's create a login form with some web controls server controls and we'll just use style sheets to give styles to all the controls so just create a new project Let's give the name of this project as practical number two. Let's create an empty web application. Let's click OK. Now we'll see this is Visual Studio 2013. So we'll use this environment for log designing a login form. So you'll see here solution explorer some of the files have been added so let's add a new web page by clicking add new item you can select web form just give the name for this web form let's say login form so now you see this has been added so now we have to take div tags so I'll take some div tags this first, second, third, fourth, fifth let's take six div tags one is for the header so I'm giving the id as div header second one will be for let's say div footer uh, sorry div of the left pane left panel then id for let's say div will be for the center one let's take this id for div sub footer then i'll take the last one oh sorry left and then we have to take right one also so i'll take one div for the right one also let's take id equals to div right the last one is for the footer so id equals to div footer now start using this form tag at the center just to use this form tag just in the center i'll use this div tag so this will be center one now we'll take on the center one header also under one div tag let's take h3 welcome to let's say mit so in the center one Or let's take here instead of this I'll take a level control let's say this will be my center one now the form let's take the different controls for example I'll take ID for username and this is for password this is for checkbox and this is for let's say button so taking password this div is for let's say remember then this one is for Okay, so let's take different controls here. I'll take text box. So this is for the username. This is for the password. Here I want a checkbox. So I'll take a checkbox. And for here, I'll just take a submit button. 
after every tag I'll just take a break so after every tag I'll just take one break I'll just take txt username sign the id and css class will be let's take some css class form control and let's take placeholder equals to username so we'll take the same for password also so it's yeah this one will be password and password should be hidden so yeah should let's take this as text mode equals to password so this is done yeah just change the id of password let's change this id check remember and below this checkbox just take one label displaying remember and so let's take this as a login button I'm changing its caption and button login I'm assigning the CSS also for button we can use CSS equals to button so this is the header as the left panel is the center panel okay. now let's use some center alignment for form and all and footer will just use one label display the message let's say copyright it mca 2016 or we just give it to the footer part this is all done save this now this part is over now we can use we can use CSS for assigning the styles for all so just create right click add new item use the style sheet just give the name let's say my CSS dot CS so I don't want this body uh, just that but hash use div header so I want back color back color to be let's say list blue then let's give font as Vedana let's give its height 200 px let's give padding top to 2 am this is for the header similarly go for left so for left again this will be same this will be same height you can give as let's say 230 px Adding top will be okay. You have, the main important is the width. Width you can give here, let's say 40 percent. Then you have to use one important attribute called as float. It should be left and right.
similarly go for right so all will be same skip the same 40 percent then we'll have to use a center one Just change the width to 20 percent i will change the color of this background let's say dodged blue dodger blue no need of this float now we can use border radius something new border radius to just provide the proper curves so this for center then similarly go for footer footer let's keep this as it is width will give let's say 100 percent height will give 100 percent no need of float font family okay background color will get change we'll change it to let's say black let it be this one padding it's okay let's give this as height 30 px and font size will give it small font size small similarly I will go for div sub footer for div sub footer we'll use the same color On just height will give let's say 420 no need of giving width and all float is not required then we have one more important hash remember hash remember we'll use font family font size and color font family let's give this as font or instead of that font size size we'll just give small and color will give us let's say white and this is for the remember now we have use CSS class the CSS class we can give for example for the button button I'll give the background color let's say green and use the padding 10 px 26 px let's say then no need of border color will give us let's say white then border radius we can provide it border radius let's give this as 20 px text align let's give the center one size let's give this as 12px one family let's give this as worth enough even we can provide some special effects for that button dot button hovering effect we can add 
so whenever we'll just move the cursor on that particular button so its background color should change to let's say white color will be black font color will change to black so this is all we did for providing the styles let's save this let's see how our form looks like so just execute your login form.aspx right click and view in browser so you'll see the output on browser But one more thing, I haven't attached. We haven't attached the style sheet here, so we need to attach that style sheet first. Just drag the style sh style sheet here. Now execute when browser. So okay, so there will be some. styles we haven't given it properly so let's give this style properly for left we are given 40% for right 20% okay the footer is coming properly header is ok, the center part is not coming properly I guess, center part with 20% so center part, let's give this as 2, 6, float, yes the float is I mean I guess in center just click refresh you'll see this login form so you'll see hovering effect also so this is how you have to design this login form is this too much if you'll see that if it is too much uh, border radius you can reduce it by changing it to let's say 40 percent px will look like this so this is how you have to design this login form first thank you